Welcome to Kay's Kitchen. What it do, foodies? Welcome back to Kay's Kitchen, guys. Thank you all for tuning in today. Um, today, I'm going to be doing Rundown, right? It's a Jamaican dish with coconut milk, codfish, which we call saltfish. So this week, in a, in a couple of days actually, it's going to be Good Friday. And traditionally in our households in Jamaica, or at least in my household and many others that I know of, we don't eat uh, meat on Good Friday. So we typically have a fish dish, which is called escabeach fish, which is fried fish. Then we pour over it um, a pickle, onion, and, and scotch bonnet sauce over it, right? But for me today, I want to do rundung instead of the traditional uh, escovitch fish. I'm going to do rundung, which is codfish, like I said, and we call it saltfish. And we will be cooking that with coconut milk, right? So guys, just keep on watching as I make this rundung this dish. The codfish that I'll be using, all right? And as you can see, it's two bags of it, two bags that I use right so what i did was i washed off the salt that comes on the fish i washed it off and then i boiled it in some hot water the first time i boiled it for about 20 to 25 minutes i poured off that water and then um, I put some more water in the pot and boiled it again for another 15 minutes. That way, all the salt comes out of that fish, right? And it's not all of it. It's, it's, it's a very good amount of the salt that comes out of it. So right now, the fish is just flavored with the salt and it's not overly salty as when it first originally came in the package. As you can see, that's a lot of salt on there compared to, to this right here, right? And then I drained it and I just put it to the side um, because that's pretty much one of the last parts that will be added to the pot, right? I went ahead and cut up some seasoning that's gonna also go into the dish. So right here, I have my thyme, I have my scotch bonnet pepper, garlic, tomatoes, onion, and then just an assortment of uh, bell peppers that I have over there. And this is the coconut milk of my choice. I mean, you can use whatever coconut milk you would like, but this is the coconut milk that I've chose to use. Okay, guys? So in a nice clean pot, what I will do is I'm going to start out with adding my two coconut milks to the pot, right? And as you can see with this coconut milk here, I didn't shake it too, too well in the can, but it's okay because it's all going to uh, dissolve or cook, I should say. All right, so this recipe is like a recipe I got from my brother-in-law, Desmond. And so I added the two coconut milk um, to the pot, and now I'm going to get one can of water. So I'm going to add some water to this can. All right. So that's two coconut milk can to one part, just water, right? I got my stove right now on high heat. I want it to go ahead and just start cooking for me. So this dish here is a dish that you really have to stand over. So you need time for this dish here. Uh, it's not just a, a one, two, three dish. You need time with it because it's going to be a good amount of stirring constantly with it. So what I'm doing now is just stirring it. It's in the beginning stages of it right now. So just gonna stir it for a little bit, make sure it's not sticking, and then just let it do its thing. So you see it's boiling now because I got it on high heat. And it's doing this thing boiling. And I would recommend using a nice size pot. This pot seems like it's too big right now, but it's actually the right size pot because um, I want it to cook quicker. You know, if it if the pot was smaller, it really takes it a little longer for it to cook.
All right, so while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna go on over here and I'm gonna start on the side dish, which is gonna be festival. My kids go absolute crazy for festival. So this is what I'm gonna do um, as a side dish for it. Now, festival is just a, a dumpling, but it's kind of sweet. And this is the pack that I get typically, and it's just add water to the mix right and you make it into a dough i let it sit and rest for a few minutes maybe about 15 minutes um or longer i can make it sit longer since this dish is going to take a little long time i'll go ahead and get that all doughed up and let it sit until i'm ready to fry it up okay sticky it's not dry and I go ahead and work that thing in and like I say I'll let it sit I'm not gonna work it too much I get him into a nice ball like that and I'll let him sit All right, guys, so I put some plastic over this dough right here, and I'm going to let it sit until, you know, the rundown gets a little bit closer to being done. And then I'll form them um, into the festival uh, balls and fry those up. All right, but in the meanwhile, let me tell you guys uh, another thing for uh, – Good Friday or Easter time frame where what we do or most households in Jamaica uh, eat uh, on uh, Good Friday, the Saturday before Easter on Easter, typically um, it's the Easter bun, right? With cheese, bun and cheese is what we call it. Um, that's what we typically eat on Good Friday and that whole weekend. I mean, it's something that we eat throughout the year as well, but it's a big deal. Uh, during this holiday season for us. All right, just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys. All right, y'all, so we getting there. We are getting there. Those bubbly bubblies going on in there. Uh, we've been at it for about 15 to 20 minutes. We've been at it um, cooking this down. So we're getting there. Let me show you. See, it's reducing. Pretty much you can see pretty where we started at. That's where the coconut milk was originally started at. And now we're pretty much half of it went down now reduced. thing is really doing its thing it's almost there see how the bubbles is pretty much all over the pot now and I don't know if you guys can see the separation that is starting to separate into oil and that's what you want at this step right here at this phase I can go ahead and start adding my uh, seasoning in it but I'm gonna push it just a little longer um, uh, this creaminess of it oh my gosh this is so nice and creamy but i like to see a little bit more oil come out of it but definitely guys at this phase at this stage right here you can go ahead and start adding all those beautiful uh seasonings over there your tomatoes onions and bell peppers and thyme and garlic and everything but i'm gonna give it maybe another minute so i think i've been doing this for about 30 minutes now right stirring off and on but i'm at that phase that I'm pretty much there. I'm there. 
I'm there at that step. Let me see if I can zoom it in even more. You see that oil? That's the oil. It's like oil right on top, right there, right? It's so beautiful, isn't it? So now you see that it's separating more and more. So I'm at that consistency that All I right. want. So I'm gonna start out with some onion. I'll start out with my onion going in there. Nice. Yeah. Like I said, I'm turning back up my stove some. It's not to typically high, but probably to a, a medium high heat because I want these to cook at a certain temperature. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm saving back some of my seasoning because I'm going to make some uh, Kalaloo. This is my scotch bonnet pepper here going in that pot. Enough garlic. Oh my gosh, I love garlic. Love, 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 love garlic. All right. I have my tomatoes that's going in there as well. All right, so just frying me up some seasoning pretty much. I have me some thyme here. Uh, what the heck? I'm just gonna put all of it. I just don't want them to be real big. This is doing my nose some justice in here. This smells amazing. So you got that coconut oil that's gonna saute up these seasonings as well as some of that cream. It still have cream to it. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to just be all oil in there. I still wanted some of this white cream in there because that is so flavorful, so flavorful. And I'm gonna let that go ahead and marry up together. And in the meanwhile, while my um, season is cooking up, I'm just going to go in here to the, the, the codfish that I boiled out the, the salt earlier. And I'm just going to break them up with my hand. Just break them up into pieces. I want them to be nice chunk pieces. You don't want it to get lost. So that size is pretty good. Because as you stir it, they're going to break up some more anyway. So that's what I'm going to do feel around for any extra bones I know some people like theirs with the bone in it but I got little ones so yeah so I'll do this meanwhile I'll come back over here and stir this don't want it to burn turn the stove down now since my vegetables is pretty much cooked 
to the consistency that I like. If you like your vegetables a little bit more cooked, go right ahead. You see how that oil is in it now? <laughs> all that cream we had when we first started, all that coconut milk, now you cooked it down and now you're seeing oil. And that's what you wanted and you still have bits of that cream that's still in there, right? Yes, beautiful. Here we go. So my sawfish that I broke apart. I'm adding it to the pot. I do have my pot still on medium heat because I don't want to burn my coconut milk. Beautiful. And I'm just taking my time and I'm just um, not really stirring it. I'm just folding it in because I don't really want to break up the sawfish. All right. Mm. And yes, I have a good amount of sawfish in it. Some people may want their uh, rundong to be more liquidy. I like mine this way. Do what pleases you, you know. So to season it, I just use some black pepper in the beginning, right? It's a method to my madness, people. It's a method to it. Because I already have the codfish in there that has some salt to it. I don't add salt until I taste it, right? That makes sense, right? Then I add some onion powder to it. The onion powder act like he wanted the stick. All right, I add me some onion powder to it, right? And then I go in here. Give it a nice stir, or not stir, a fold. Getting everything incorporated really nicely. And like I said, if you want it to be more liquidy, add more coconut milk from the beginning, or add less um, codfish, sawfish, however you please. But this is the way I like mine. Go in here and give it a nice little taste. See if I need any more seasoning, any more salt. Okay. Mm. That creaminess. I do need a little salt. This is my K seasoning blend that I, I, I just blend up a lot of different seasonings in it. You got seasoning salt, garlic powder, black pepper. A little occasion I got in there so I just lightly put a little bit in there because it was all seasoned up it from like I said the codfish has its own salt already so I'm just barely seasoning it it don't need much let me go in here and taste it again Mm hmm okay that's it that's it right there and so I'm gonna go on to making my um run I'm sorry my um festival look at that isn't that a beauty guys all right go on to the festival. all right so I got my oil going on right here getting hot and so I just took off a little ball off of my uh, dough and I'm just gonna do him like rub him between my hands like that and give him this shape consistency right here and then once the oil is hot enough I'll drop him in there and make me some festival I got little bubbles around him so he's ready to go all right so I'm just going to go ahead and add these to the pot, not going to crowd my pot at all. And once one side is done, I'll flip it over to the next side and continue till all of my festivals are done. All right.
They're getting larger as they fry. All right, guys, look at that beautiful golden brown color. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this lined cookie sheet with these uh, paper towels. And then I'm going to add the rest of them, the remaining ones. Finish those up. Then I'll come back to you guys with my finished product. That's the rundown with the festival. And some collar glue. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. As you can see, I have the festival, some Kalalu, and my rundown. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh, I'm going to enjoy every bit of this. Welcome back again, foodies. I made rundown today along with some festival. And I made some kalalu as my side dish as well. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and try this. Mmm. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's good. Oh my gosh, of course. It's festival. Mmm. One, I got this nice garlic. Mmm. 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 -hmm. So delicious, guys. And over here for my drink, I'm having some uh, Jamaican ginger beer with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that tastes so good together, guys. So once again, thanks, guys, for tuning in to Kay's Kitchen. Do like, share, and subscribe to my station. Hit that notification bell. So when, whenever I post another video, you be first to know about it. All right, guys? So y'all do have a beautiful, blessed day today. And I'm going to continue to dig into this food here. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm.